All right, so we have some pretty exciting news. We are headed on the Memorial Day weekend. We're headed to Florida. I was able to get a room at Disney. We're gonna be staying at the Wilderness Lodge in a two bedroom. So I've invited my parents to join us. We're really excited. We've been to Disney a couple times during whatever we wanna call this period of time. And we have yet to drive to get there. Um, of course, we've driven to Florida many a time. So this route is not anything new for us, but we did have to wait until we both got done with work today. So we're a little bit later in the day than we thought we would be. But um, nonetheless, we're gonna go as far as we possibly can tonight. We're gonna stay somewhere overnight. And then in the morning, we'll finish up this trip. So for now, I have the car charged to 91% and we are going to have our first stop in louisville and it looks like it's potentially that new supercharger that we caught last time on the way home so let's take a look all right so we've got the full trip laid out here it says 982 miles 18 hours and four minutes so that's about right it's pretty close um actually fewer miles than a better route planner but timing it's i don't know 10 minutes longer on the car so it looks like the Atlanta one is going to be one that we're going to mix up. We're not stopping for 45 minutes, but our first stop will be in Louisville and this charger. Yeah, that's right. So there's two chargers in Louisville. Now this one is brand new. Um, this other one, it looks like actually it's okay. There we go. It is, uh, out of order. It looks like, um, so that's, interesting this supercharger needs an upgrade bat so maybe that's what's going on they just opened this one up it is a v3 which is awesome so we're at 91 percent i think it said we would arrive at 23 percent so we're actually going to drive a little bit faster to burn up some of that energy if you arrive at a v3 with 20 percent you will not hit peak charging speeds and it's 79 degrees so we are in good shape for the front end of this trip everything looks like it's lining up well so we're gonna hit louisville and then it's having us take this route that i keep seeing pop up from time to time we'll see if that updates to take us to nashville and over but for now it's going straight south so louisville then cookville tennessee and chattanooga chattanooga says we'd arrive at 12:47 if we left right now that's probably where we're gonna stop tonight. So I can't imagine we're gonna make it much later than that. I was really hoping to make it into Georgia, but it's just a little bit later in the day. It's 441, so in the next, I don't know, 15 minutes by five o'clock, we're gonna be on the road. So the car is fully packed, and this time, since we are headed to Disney, we're taking our big double stroller. So this is the fullest we've packed the car on a road trip. That stroller takes up so much space. It's one of those double seat folding strollers, baby jogger, whatever it is, but they're massive. They're so big, big footprint. Um, it does fit in the car just fine and you just stack things on top of it. So I've got two carry-on suitcases plus a child suitcase, numerous bags of all kinds of shapes and sizes. Of course, all the cool toys and we've got some snacks back here as well. So we're all packed up and ready to get this road trip going. It should be about i don't know seven about a little over two hours to get to louisville um so that's got to be traffic related so i'm sure there's i mean it's rush hour so hopefully we beat the timing and get there at a good time chattanooga before 12 30 in the morning would be a win so we'll see how well we do i will update you once we hit the road all right, so it is five o'clock now and we are hitting the road. Should be in Louisville at that new V3 supercharger about 7.20 according to the clock. We'll see how it goes. Hopefully traffic's a little bit lighter than it's anticipating, but it says 144 miles, two and a half hours. So, you boys ready to go? Yeah. Yeah? All right, well, let's hit the road. So we arrived 17%, supposed to be here for 35 minutes. 
146.1 miles, 48 kilowatt hours, a very respectable 326 watt hour per mile, given we were going 80 to 85, which is, um, yeah, pretty fast. But I wanted to consume some of that extra energy that we had on the way, because this is a V3 charger, which means 250 kilowatt charge rate. So anyways, gonna go ahead and get plugged in. Pretty decent spot. There's, um, it's in the parking lot of a Meyer. This is a brand new supercharger, Meyer parking lot. Uh, there is a McAllister's over there, which is pretty decent. We did just get some Wendy's, unfortunately. That's the best we could do. Some shopping, cleaning to do. So, oh, we are ramping up quickly. Can we get a thousand miles an hour? Maybe. I don't know. Battery might be too full. <gasps> Well, almost did it. Battery's just too full. All right, so we are charged up 85%. Unfortunately, it is not telling us how much these charging sessions are. So a recent update, I believe, has made it so that if you have free supercharging, it's not allowing you to see how much it would have cost, like so many of our road trips before. So that's really unfortunate. I can't tell you how much. Here's the thing. The rest of our trip, we have, it wants us to go to Cookville and normally we'd go to Nashville and then down to Chattanooga, but it is still suggesting this route and it wants us to stop here for an hour, which we are not going to do. So we will um, make our way to Cookville, which is 182 miles and it is three and a half hours. And the reason is we are getting off the highway to do that. So we'll see once we get a little bit closer, I might try to replug our destination to see if it'll allow us to go to Nashville instead so we can stay on the highway. If not, I have been this route before. As soon as you get off the highway here in Cave City, this is all like back country road, it's twisty. It is fun, but it is going to be dark soon. So anyways, Gonna go ahead and get unplugged. Should arrive at 6% unless we change route. 86% unplugging now. One of the other things I forgot to reset, like a rookie, so that first leg, I can add the miles, but it will not average our one hour per mile for that first leg. So my apologies, we'll get this squared away. arrived at the charger in Bowling Green, which means we went the other direction. 124 miles, 41 kilowatt hours, and 334 watt hour per mile. So starting to get a little bit into the hills, so a little bit more consumption. So we're supposed to be here for 25 minutes, which we will do, and that will be enough to make it to the next charger, which is Manchester. So we don't have to stop in Nashville, make it to Manchester, and then through Chattanooga down into Ackworth, Georgia. So anyways, gonna go ahead and get plugged in now. 23%, again, 25 minutes to charge. This is uh, another one of those charging stops at a mire, which is super convenient. So restrooms, it's a grocery store food to choose from all that but there's nothing else out here so anyways go ahead and get it charged up all right so we're charged up 80 percent plenty enough to get to the next charger which is manchester should be there at 17 percent. i believe this is the dunkin donuts one um so there's plenty of food options there but it'll all be closed it's 10 18 which means it's 9 18 in tennessee so Anyways, uh, should arrive at 17%, 80% charge again. I can't tell you how much it cost. So we're gonna go ahead and get unplugged. We have 127 miles go, about two hours, should be there about midnight at Manchester. All 
right, so we made it to the supercharger, 14%. It is just after midnight. We're supposed to be here for 35 minutes, and we are gonna have to stay for the full 35. 128 miles, 44 kilowatt hours, 341 watt hour per mile. The reason is because we are actually going to be staying in a hotel down here in Kimball, right in this area. So we just wanna make sure we have enough to get there, leave the car overnight, there's no charging there, and then to make it to Ackworth in the morning. So gonna get plugged in and charge that full 35 minutes. All right, so we are charged up to 86%. Again, I can't tell you how much it cost us to charge, but we have 151 miles to go, two hours and 20 minutes, but we're actually going to a Hampton Inn along the way. So 38 miles, 38 miles, 39 minutes, should be there at 1.20 in the morning. So we're gonna try to finish this up real quickly because it's getting late for us old folks. So anyways, 87% gonna unplug now, have plenty of charge to get to Ackworth in the morning. All right, so we got here about 10 minutes ago. So 39 miles as expected, 13 kilowatt hours, 323 watt hour per mile, went up and then back down the big mountain. So we're done with mountains for now. So in the morning, here's what we've got left. We've got the Ackworth charger is still the next stop to charge. We should arrive there at 13%. Hopefully we won't lose too much tonight. I can't imagine we'll lose 1%. So 68% should arrive there at 13%. And then Macon, Georgia and Tifton and Lake City. And all these are 20 minutes except for that last one at 35. So that is acceptable to us. So total left to go. 589 miles, about 10 hours, and that does include charging. So not too bad. We made it as far as I had hoped we would. We are basically Chattanooga right now, which is what I was really, really hoping for. It's just that it's much later than we had hoped for. So anyways, that should do it for us for tonight. I do have plenty of energy left and I could keep going, but um, if you live with anybody in healthcare, you know how exhausted they are right now. And so I made it a point to get us a nice, comfortable bed for the night. So we will pick this up in the morning. It's going to be super early when we do it, at least given the fact we're going to bed right now. So we will see how the morning looks, but I may not be as chipper first thing in the morning, but we will uh, catch you back up when we wake up. All right, well, we got some decent sleep. We're going to get things rolling. We are ready to go. So we've got 113 miles, an hour and 45 minutes to go. Should be there at about 925. Interesting new thing. The car's now not adjusting time based on time zone that's local to where you are. So that's really weird and new, but... We have a total of 595 miles to go, about 10 hours, including charging. So first stop will be Accra, Georgia, which we've been to many a times on our way down south. So let's get going. So we pulled in 8%, 9.15, making excellent time so far. Supposed to be here for 20 minutes, which isn't too bad. And then on to Macon, Georgia. So uh, three more stops, I believe. One, two, three more stops after this. So I'm going to go ahead and get plugged in. 153.2 miles, 51 kilowatt hours consumed, 333 one hour per mile which means our pretty decent efficiency given we're doing 80 to 85, keep that in mind, um, at this high speed, 333, that is uh, pretty good. So I'm gonna go ahead and get plugged in. All right, we're all charged up, 69%, still not showing any 
uh, charging cost, but we have 108 miles to go. An hour and 45 minutes should arrive about 21%. Get unplugged and head out. arrived 20 percent 109.1 miles 33 kilowatt hours consumed 299 watt hour per mile because we drove through the south's favorite city to have traffic for days and days and days so we're supposed to be here for 20 minutes however we are going to get lunch at the panera back here so um, we may or may not be here for 20 minutes we'll see if we stay longer then we're gonna skip Tifton and try to make it to Valdosta which would be that would work out pretty well as well so we will see how we do gonna get plugged in now and get it charging all right we are charged enough to make it we have 108 miles to go an hour and a half be there about 130 and 23% on arrival it's 76% Total charge, unplugging now. So we arrived 14%, 108.5 miles, 40 kilowatt hours consumed, 372 watt hour per mile. A lot less efficient on that leg. A lot due to speed, but also um, I think we had a bit of a headwind there for a while. So it's supposed to be here for 20 minutes and then on to Lake City. So we're going to go ahead and get plugged in. This is a decent spot because you've got a hotel over here. You can use the facilities. There's a Starbucks right there. Um, but there's an Olive Garden and a Ruby Tuesday and a Wendy's and a gas station. So there's decent options at this place. So anyways, getting plugged in now. All right, we're all charged up 82%. Had to do some finagling to get the right charger that I wanted. So if you're, if you're at a stop and it wants you to go a really short stretch and it doesn't make sense, just hit the supercharging icon and then select the one you want and make that your destination. And then it'll tell you what your charge is upon arrival and then once it gets close to uh, being full then set your destination again and you'll be set to go it should automatically start to figure out once you get above zero percent to that charger that that's the one you want to go to so anyways that is our last charging stop on the way down which is fantastic news this is a very full charger so we did lose some time and 2a 2b was doing some funky stuff so I was unable to get really quickly charged up here until somebody left. So anyways, <clears throat> should arrive at 9%. We have a total of 149 miles, two hours and five minutes. Should be there about four o'clock, 10% on arrival. arrived to Gainesville it is 97 degrees AC is blaring so we did have to drive a little bit slower because uh, we were pretty high in uh, consumption so 338 watt hour per mile 150.5 miles 51 kilowatt hours consumed so we're supposed to be here for 25 minutes which would get us to our hotel at I think 16 percent but I think what we're going to do is we're probably going to charge a little bit more um, just so we've got plenty there is a supercharger by our hotel and that is right over here in celebration it's actually really close so 
Anyway, it's gonna get plugged in and we'll see how quickly it's charging and make some decisions on how long we'll stay here. All right, so as I'm out here looking for a trash can, this is honestly one of the nicest supercharging stops because it's just a really nice area. There's a lot of options. So if you need a place to sit and eat, this is a really good option. There's a lot of really nice casual dining and uh, that'll allow you to get, you know, a lot more charge. So get a bite to eat, maybe charge all the way up at this particular stop. So one of my favorites in Florida, at least, because of all the options, really good quality options. All right, so we're all charged up. 79% should arrive at 19. It looks like traffic's already picking up because the arrival time keeps pushing out and the time to get to destination is going up. But 120 miles to go to finish this up. Again, 79%, still unable to tell you how much. Gonna get unplugged now. So we had to have a change of plans. Unfortunately, somebody got a little bit car sick. So we actually went ahead and pulled off. The other one got super hungry. So we pulled into a travel plaza in the middle of the highway. One of those things in Florida on the toll road. So we're actually going to go ahead and charge at this one. So um, let's take a look at what we have left. It's not much. So as you can see, we only have 22 miles left, about 31 minutes of drive time. That's fine. This is a small charger. Uh, only six stalls. It is a V2, but it is full. So anyways, um, the idea is to sit here and charge and get as much as we can. So rather than getting to the hotel and then going to the celebration charger, like I was planning to this evening, we'll just try to get as much juice as we can here. So that way when we get to the hotel, we don't have to then go out to sit at a charger. So we're going to get some dinner here and uh, charge the car. All right, so we're charged up to 83%. I am going to let it round up to 85 before we go. We got the message that we can only charge to 80%. However, it is letting us charge longer. There's only three of us now, so I don't feel bad about doing that. But they do have a sign out here to remind people of other chargers because it is super busy, holiday weekend and everything. So, so we have a final 17 miles. That's fantastic. So Looks like probably some traffic on the I-4 because it's 29 minutes to go that 17 miles. So with that said, this should be at 85% any second. So I'm going to go ahead and unplug and we'll get to the hotel here in about 30 minutes. Well, we made it. We're at the hotel, the Embassy Suites. Um, we went ahead and booked this hotel. Now, I looked at so many hotels because availability was so limited in going back and forth between Hilton's website and PlugShare. I got everything mixed up and I don't know how I messed this up, but um, we stopped at that last charger to go ahead and top off. They've got charging here, so yeah. You just got to roll with the punches, I guess. Anyways, um, it's great news though, because that means we can have 90% in the morning. And actually what I'll do is when we wake up, I'll crank it up to 100% and uh, we'll be in the car before it gets to 100%, but just to give it a little bit of extra juice. So really excited about that. So the Embassy Suites off of 535. Um, so over by where the Walmart is that they have two Tesla chargers and then they've got these two, I think they're blink chargers, but they are free. They're at least included with a $13 charge that they have for parking. Uh, anyways, so we are here. Let's take a look at how this trip ended up. All right, so again, I forgot to reset this after the first leg. So there's still 140 miles missing from this and that average one hour per mile is not included here, unfortunately, but I'll put those numbers over here somewhere on the screen. So 337 watt hour per mile, considering we did 85, 80 for most of this, that's really good. 
And as soon as it got up into the 90s, that's when consumption started to really go up because the AC was just working extra hard. So in the 70s and low 80s, consumption was really good. Um, we were in the low 300s at 80 to 85 miles an hour, which is fantastic. So in the morning, all we gotta do is get to the Wilderness Lodge to park, and that is 9.3 miles away. We're gonna try to get there before the park's open and everything, so. So that does it for part one of this road trip. We're gonna be here for the weekend, and we're going to be leaving at some point on Sunday to get home on Monday, so. I hope that you enjoyed this video. Be sure to subscribe so you'll be notified when part two launches, and that should be a week after this video posts. So anyways, hope you enjoyed it. Give it the thumbs up if you did. Thanks for joining us, and we'll catch you next time.